Often we are reporting on shootings and homicides, and while local hospital emergency rooms are effectively treating the physical wounds, there is also a state funded mental health component at ECMC's level one trauma unit to treat the psychological effects. As Channel 2's Ron Plants reports, it may prevent another future trip to the ER. As we all know, but never see that life saving work at ECMC going on around the clock, especially more so of late with a surge in shootings on the streets. However, there are other staffers trying to save lives in a different way, treating the psychological damage and impact of violence suffered by victims. When a victim of gun violence comes to the ED, um, the trauma team is there, you know, to um, stabilize, deal with medical, but we're also there to both advocate for the patient. Um, talk to the patient, um, call family, and, you know, just be able to give them some comfort in a time which is very scary and kind of build that initial trust at the moment of crisis. This particular community violence intervention program right within the ER is one of two running in the state as pilot programs right now with a $1.2 million state-funded grant providing for a psychologist and at least four social workers, including Spiro, who leads the program. They also connect with a snug anti-violence group, which is also state-funded. The idea, provide follow-up counseling care for the victim and loved ones during and after the hospital stay in a very teachable moment, as they say. You've been shot. I mean, this is frightening. And so at that moment, it's kind of a, what we know from other programs is that it allows sort of this insight, this moment of vulnerability to be able to realize, you know, I don't want, I don't want to die. I don't want this to happen. Um, and so it gives you a path towards thinking about other options. That might be a future plan to try to steer clear of crime and violence and also get help in building a better life with education and employment. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.